Okay, guys, this is Onyx. Um, we bred her to a male sulfur monitor, courtesy of JTK. There are a couple infertiles down in there, but these should be double het animals, so they should carry 100% heterozygous for black dragon and 100% heterozygous for sulfur. Oh, girl. I know. Um, so let's pull these eggs out and count them up. Hey, girl. How about we just pull... We'll pull them all out, and then we'll count them after. Huh. Here. Watch out, girl. Right, let me see. I'm gonna get all these out. She makes such nice eggs. Huh. She's such a good sport about letting me take her eggs. Huh, you've always been really nice when it comes to letting me get your eggs. And... Oh, girl, Onyx is my favorite black dragon. Black dragon, flaming dragon. I know, girl. I'm sorry. Look, I just want to get these out of here. And then I'll count them. But I gotta hold the camera. I'm um, one tip for you guys. If your female is laying eggs, so see that is an infertile. See how it's just kind of like a bag of nothing? So we will keep that off to the side. Because I'll probably throw that back in there for her to bury. Um, just to give her something to bury. So this egg box is not going to be big enough, obviously. I knew that before uh, doing all this, but... But I uh, actually ran out of distilled water. Oh, so... Uh, my tip was, if your female's getting ready to lay eggs, um, and it's kind of dry in the enclosure or in the lay box area, um, make sure to, uh, so that's like a semi-fertile, probably not fertile, but we'll throw that in there anyway. Um, what I do is I flood the enclosure, like the floor. Uh, just to try to turn it into like an egg box, kind of. Um, so don't just don't wet the the lay box, but just flood the enclosure to crank the humidity up um, in it for for the for your for your girl. Uh, there is a ton of friggin' eggs in here. <laughs> Um, we decided not to breed Onyx to the Black Dragon this time because I have so many Black Dragons hatching um, that I kind of just thought it'd be smarter not to breed her to uh, um, a Black Dragon this time because I just didn't think that it would make sense to have that many Black Dragons. Two at a time. There are so many eggs. Oh, girl. Here. I know, here. You're such a good sport. And look, we got two more down here. So I always try to catch the female. Ow! When she's uh, getting ready to pack them in. Um, so that is all of the eggs, and we have 
So we'll count this one infertile. That'll give her something to pack down in there. But let's count all of these friggin' eggs. <laughs> so for those people out there that think that the uh, black dragons don't lay a lot of eggs, uh, that is BS. It is simply a husbandry issue. Has nothing to do with the animal. Um, let's count them. So we got one in the hole. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. So that's twenty-three, and it looks like twenty-two of them are fertile. So Onyx just laid another huge fertile clutch, another record-breaking clutch for a black dragon. Twenty-three fertiles. Excuse me, 23 eggs, 22 of them fertile. And these should all be double het. So they should be heterozygous for black dragon as well as heterozygous for sulfur. Pretty cool. We'll get these guys incubating. I'll split these up into two egg boxes. We'll get them incubating. And uh, in about seven months, we'll see what we got. Pretty cool. Keep feeding.